Hey guys, I'm CMA Super and welcome to another War Thunder historical battle. I'm flying the Japanese A6M50, and this is not the premium version of the plane. I do own the premium version of the plane, and I do prefer the premium version of the plane because it has more rounds in the cannons. But this is the regular version of the plane, and I decided to fly it just because I wanted to get some part unlocks on it. I mean, the part unlocks are going to be pretty much useless if I continue flying the premium version. So I don't know why I'm doing it, but I just wanted to do it. So I'm flying the regular version, and this is the event map Iwo Jima, and that means our opponents are going to be the American B-24 bombers, uh, TVFs, Corsairs, and F-6F Hellcats. So basically stuff that doesn't climb well against the Zeros, because the Zeros climb very well, and then a whole bunch of bombers. So um, right here in front of me, below me, you can see a B-24 trying to go to our land, and I'm trying to catch up with him without getting too close to him, so I'm keeping my altitude, and then my intention is to dive down on him, shoot him, hopefully set him on fire, and then run away. But that is not what's going to happen. Um, I don't want to spoil what's going to happen in this video, but um, the number of times that I caught fire in this thing, and the number of times I put out those fires, as well as just the simple number of hits that I got this game, are incredible, and that's why I want to show you guys this game. So here I am, attacking the B-24. I figured it was a good time to go diving on him. Get lots of fuselage hits. I probably should have gone for one of the engines if I want to set him on fire, but I just happened to hit the fuselage. And now I'm running away, and I am on fire. <laughs> one single 50 cal round hits me, and I get set on fire, but then the amazing Zero puts out the fire, even though it's not technically supposed to. Um, everybody says the Zero is bugged in that way, and it probably is. I know that the Zero did not have self-sealing fuel tanks, so any fire that started with the fuel tank, which that fire did, I did lose fuel from that fire, um, should not be put out. But I put it out. That was That's the first fire I put out this game, so that's fire number one. Just wait till you see how many I ended up putting out. So anyways, I got set on fire. I was actually quite damaged, as you can see at the left side and that little damage thing. I have lots of pink, and these zeros are not strong planes. If you're damaged in even a, like to just a pink, which isn't very much damage, generally speaking, um, on a zero it is actually quite a lot of damage. So you kind of want to land if you're pink in a zero, and there's a chance you're going to have a whole bunch of 50 cal shooting at you next time you go attack whatever you're attacking, which in this case is a B-24 which has a ton of 50 cows that will be shooting at me. So I decide to land, and when I take off, I decide that I want to go ahead and just go and attack the same B-24 again in hopes of killing him. I did knock out one of his gunners, which will make the, uh, the second attack on him easier than the first attack, or at least I'm less likely to die at least, so that'll be a good thing, right? <laughs> Uh, you can see all the enemies in front of me here. Uh, there's a couple of F4Us, actually I think three F4Us, which are Corsairs in case you're not aware. And there's a B-24 that I'm attacking, he's the one I'm selecting. And there's also a TBF over there on the left side of the screen. And there's another TBF coming in from the middle of the screen. So there's a lot of enemies over here. And attacking the B-24 may not be the smartest idea anymore because as you can see right under me here, there's like two TBFs, a B-24, and a Corsair. If I go to the B-24, I'll have a ton of guns firing at me, and so I decide to go for the lonely TBF over here. And this TBF was both a curse and... I don't know what the opposite of a curse. I guess some good thing. It was a bad thing and a good thing for me. Uh, you'll see why by the end of the game. So... I'm going to attack this TBF, and I'm not in firing range yet, at least in my personal opinion of what a firing range is. But I start shooting at him, he loses his tail control, and it appears that he can still fly without tail control, so I fire some more at him, and he's going to crash into the rocks. So I run away, and I get set, fi set of fire by the TBF. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. So that's fire number two that I've put out now. <laughs> so I now put out two fires in this plane that's not supposed to put out any fires. And you can see that TBF is still sitting there on the rock, he has crashed, he is on fire, and I'm still getting hit credit for him, because that fire that I put on him was critical, and it seems that his top gunner is still alive, so he's just going to sit there this entire game, shooting at anyone who comes over him, I guess you could say, and he's just going to shoot at them with, shoot at them with his gunner, and that's exactly what he did to me there, he actually got another few hits on me. But, um... 
He is dead, essentially. Kinda, sorta. You'll see what I mean later on in the video. But, um, still getting hit credits because he's burning, so heck, I'll, I'll take the XP in Lions gladly. I've now damaged his oil tank, apparently. This is the first time I've ever had this happen to me. If you don't know what's happening yet, just wait and see. Wait till the, the very end of the video, I'll have the scoreboard just like I always do, and just wait till you see how many hit credits I got from that TBF. <laughs> it was crazy. So anyways, uh, as you can see, I am trailing smoke. I don't, know if, I don't know if it's smoke or if it's oil or what it is. My oil my oil tank may have been hit, may not have been, I don't know. But um, I'm quite damaged right now, and I would like to land, but there are a couple of B-24s in the way preventing me from landing, and I don't want them strafing me as I'm sitting there repairing. So I decided to attack this one. He's closest to me, clearly. And I got one of his gunners. I'm hitting his inboard left engine, engine number two. Uh, seems to be leaking oil, but that's not going to kill it anytime soon. And even if he does lose that engine, he still has three more. So it's not a big deal for him unless I set it to fire. And that's really what I want to do. Look at my teammate here. And he ends up ramming the enemy. Okay. Well, I, uh, I did want that enemy to die because I didn't want him strafing me as I sat and repaired at the airfield. So, um... Your sacrifice will be remembered, teammate. <laughs> Whoever you were, I don't know your name, but you'll be remembered. <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, before... Uh, just, just take a look at the top of the screen. Look at how many points we have. <laughs> the enemy's bar is full. <laughs> we have almost nothing. These B-24s and TBFs have done a huge number on us. I have never seen so many ground targets die so fast in this event. I've played this event many times in HB and FRB. Not in AB, that's not, that's not possible, but in both HB and FRB. I have played this event many times. I have never seen so many ground targets destroyed so quickly. That's just crazy. But, um... Look at that. Still getting hit credits on the TBF. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's wonderful. So anyways, uh, something else damaged me. I don't know what it was. It may have been a Corsair. Uh, in fact, yes, it was a Corsair. It's the one that's running away. And he made my right wing black. So now I'm going to fly very, like a very damaged plane because I am a very damaged plane. And so I decided to go land, and I don't want to land at the, uh, the airfield that's closer to the enemies because I feel like they might come attack me. And so I decided to land at the airfield back here at the island, and then, once I was repaired and took off, I decided to go chasing after this B-24 over here. There's two B-24s remaining on the enemy team, as well as one Corsair. That's the Corsair that gave me the Black Wing. And so I decided to go for this B-24 because he's closer to the island, and so he's more of a threat to anyone trying to land on my team. So I tried to go in for a first pass. I wasn't able to shoot any rounds at him because I didn't have a good shot on him, and his gunners were going to... Probably set me a fire once again, but I've, I, they didn't, luckily, they didn't hit me at all. Very, very, very luckily. I'm amazed they didn't hit me at all. But, um, yeah. I'm alive. So I'm still chasing after him. Destroyers are shooting at me. This is actually quite dangerous, because destroyers have very, very deadly AAA. Um, I'm sure that's a mix of, like, destroyers, cruisers. I don't think there's a battleship down there. I'm not really sure what's down there. I'm pretty sure at least some of those are destroyers that are shooting at me, but um, whatever's shooting at me, it's not good that they're shooting at me, because AAA is very deadly in this game. But anyways, I'm chasing the B-24. I'm doing the same thing that I did at the beginning of this video. I'm staying high while still trying to catch him, and their goal with this is to dive down quickly, have a lot of speed so I can shoot at him, and then run away really quickly. And that's what diving does for you. It gives you a great amount of speed temporarily. That's why, that's why altitude rules, really. So now I'm within a kilometer. Um, I still don't want to dive down. I don't want. I don't really want to dive down until I'm literally on top of him. But um, I'm being a little impatient here, so I decide to dive down. Looks like he's turning. Ooh, that makes it an even better shot for me. And I've set him on fire. Oh yes, that is revenge for how many times I've been set on fire this video so far, which is a grand total of two. And I did put out both of those fires, and he is actually not putting out his one fire. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, something bombers don't do, especially the B-17s and B-24s, is put out fires. 
A zero is also not supposed to put out fires, but it does put them out very well. And so it's a fire extinguisher that shouldn't extinguish fires. Yeah. So anyways, uh, that's the end of the game. We lost all our ground targets. I wasn't able to get the kill on the B-24 before the game ended, sadly. But uh, looking at the stat sheet here, I got one air kill, two critical hits. That's not too bad for a game. That's about, like, normal, really. But then look at the number of hits. 64 hits. <laughs> oh my god. I got so many hit credits on that TBF after he crashed and was still on fire. That is crazy. 64 hits. I mean, some of those were on the B-24s and the TBF before he crashed, but um, most of those came from the TBF after he crashed, so that's amazing. <laughs> I have never gotten so many hits in a single game in War Thunder, no matter what game type it was, arcade, historical, or full reel. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, the amazing parts of this video... The Zero put out two fires, the B-24 put out zero, and I got 64 hits, so, um, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.